Franklin Memorial Hospital in Farmington plans to apply for what's called critical access hospital status. Terry Stackhouse tells us why leaders there claim the move puts the facility in a better position financially. To understand why the hospital wants this designation, you have to go back to 1997 when the program was created. It allows rural hospitals to receive higher reimbursement rates to preserve vulnerable services. Now, our current government payer mix here at, at uh, Franklin Memorial or FCHN is um, about 75 to almost 80 percent. So that's huge for us. Barbara Sergio, the president of Franklin County Community Health, says existing reimbursement rates for Medicare and Medicaid are between 30 and 50%. Cost-based reimbursement as a critical access hospital would boost that. If it costs us $100 to provide care for you, Terry, we'll now get $100 um, for our governmental payers. A changing criteria for the designation just opened the door for Franklin Memorial. New guidelines, though, would require the hospital to lower its bed count from 65 to 25. Sergio says daily patient counts right now hover around there, and the change would have little to no impact on operations. Often behavioral health patients are sometimes occupying those beds. Do, do you ever foresee a situation where um, that could put a strain on your resources? If you're right, we see our fair share of those patients and they do get jammed up in our ED. But in working with Maine Health, we move them through our system and our sister facilities. Franklin Memorial is holding a meeting to discuss the plan to apply for the change in status. That's coming up on June 28th from 5 to 6 o'clock inside the hospital.